What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I'm your host, Big Logan. So today we're gonna do our part three and final electrical systems installation on Peggy the Ram Pro Master. It's beautiful fall weather, 75 degrees here in West Virginia. So we're also getting into all the painting on the interior. So as you can see, we've got some LED lights installed. We've got our control panel nestled up front, our distribution panel back here. We're gonna cover all that installation and more on this episode. Let's get it started. It's electric, it's electric, it's electric. All right, so we're back on the electrical installation work. Here is the distribution panel. I'll link this thing below in the description. It is awesome. So we're gonna be able to break out our DC and our 120 all in one panel. You can see the amperage rating, your labeling, same thing for the AC breakers. And it's all put together in one nice, neat little box. This is the cover for it has a nice clear little box here. You can check the status of your fuses. I'm gonna set this aside. So this is gonna go in the van right over here where all these wires are landing, both 120 and DC. So I need to get this thing installed right here and also put one receptacle somewhere down here below that panel, trying to figure out the orientation, location. That way you can open the door here, plug right in off your inverter so we're gonna get the distribution panel mounted get all these lines in and then work on the control panel up front yeah. The aftermath of the distribution panel install. Tools everywhere in one nice, clean, beautiful AC and DC distro panel here. Let's open this up and check it out, y'all. You just click this, swings right open, and we have our labeled outlets, receptacles, microwave, water heater. Up here, circuits one, two, three, four, and five with no fuse installed yet. Just leaving these open while I do the control panel up front. Circuit one, fan. Circuit two, fridge. Circuit three, LED main lighting. Circuit four, LED bed lighting. Circuit five, water pump and gauge supply. So that is it. I fired back up the solar charge controller. It's happy as a peach. And we're ready to do the control panel. So let's get rocking. We are back at it. The control panel is now painted and ready to go. Check her out, check her out. Oh yes, so I have my diagram again to reference. Time to do the final terminations inside this control panel. I'm gonna start with 120 volt AC side. Got all my wiring here, tools, soldering irons ready to go. We're gonna solder everything back here and um, have a bunch of stuff. I was like, man, where can I find any more shelf space in here? And I was like, oh, I'll just open the cabinet up. I have these full large cabinets overhead. So now I have items up here and uh, got the heater on. It's gonna be a good morning here. Uh, gonna be 70 degrees today, so I'll be painting later today. But for now, we're gonna terminate most all the wiring left in the van. Let's get to it. All right, real quick update. Control panel is all labeled now. Get my camera in here. Oh, water level gauge, 
water heater, microwave, fridge, water pump. So those are all labeled on the rocker switches because they were generic out of the box. That's cool. And now we're on to doing our dinette area glass touch power on and off and dimmer. So these are dimmable LED lights that are gonna go up here two over the dinette area and also dim one right here over the junk drawer and the control panel area. So time to put them in. Sitting in the dinette area, got the little dinette dimmer light on, got the overhead lights in. So here we go. All right, all right, we're on, we're on. Let's try the dimmer. Oh yeah, ooh yeah, setting the mood. We've only just begun to live white lace and promises. A kiss for good luck and we're on our way. Shout out Chubbs. All right, on to the next wiring set. Let's do it. The way I see it, we've only just begun. Hey, so we're back at it again today. It's beautiful, 75, almost 78 degrees today here in West Virginia. So it is time to paint, paint, paint. So I paint prepped, caulked all our seams, filled in finished nail holes, have some final sanding to do and some preliminary painting for final trim out pieces here. Window trim, rear shiplap trim. All that and more coming up today. So we're gonna get this van painted out in our summer gray, like the uh, overhead cabinets. So these shiplap walls will all get summer gray up by the spice rack and it's gonna look nice. So let's get down to it. away from the caulk gun. We are done caulking. Time to paint second coat. Let's do it. Here is the progress. Oh yeah. Nice and bright in here, running all on solar now. Touch screen dimmer, the lights go out. The lights come on and let's run the dimmer. Oh yeah, set that mood. Bring it back up. Awesome sauce. Hey guys, that is the wrap for part three of Peggy's electrical installation. I know we fixed in some trim out work in the mix. Man, is she looking nice. Wanted to get it done while the weather was looking right. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you subscribe to the Big Logan channel. Like this video, comment below. Let's chat. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.